Hello everyone, this is Bigowski. And this is JTB. And this is chapter 3 of my Ninja Gaiden Sigma making the end of chapter Master Ninja rankings. Uh, I'm, as of right now, still not using any equipment. And I, I thought I was not going to for this run, but I figure since it's a part of the game, I'll add equipment as I get it. I'm not going to play ahead and unlock something that I shouldn't have at a certain point. So, having said that, uh, make sure you have your smoke bomb and your dragon sword just in case you had some different things. Uh, do that before you save uh, the first time in the chapter. And, I mean, it's always convenient for me. But on this fight right here, I know you could drop a smoke bomb, but for some reason, you know, the, the XY seems to pick them both up. And then I can charge uh, an ET and a UT on this. Now, the downside is, is I don't have two essence values and I don't have the lunar to maybe charge a little uh, earlier like some of they do on Ninja Gaiden. But talk about this right here JTB how I'm messing up. Yeah so that's just missing the on landing forward Y so the black commando guys uh, they have armor on their first like you know neutral hit so you'll break their guard with forward Y and if you're quick enough and you do like an actual on landing forward Y again then you'll launch them straight away. Uh, but you do have to do like a, a perfect back-to-back -back on landing forward Y. You can also do um, X hold down Y or square hold down triangle and then into forward Y. It's just a forward Y, forward Y. It's just a tiny little bit quicker. And the thing is, is, you know, if, if I'm pressing a little too early, then I'm going to come down with the Y. So obviously I'm just pressing too late. And uh, yeah. it, it takes a little pattern, but that X hold down Y, like you said, to knock them back. I, I did use that one time, and I messed this up right there. <laughs> missed my forward Y. But there is a possibility for two or what, four UTs in this fight. Yeah, you can and, get four, yeah. yeah. But you almost have to play perfect. You know, me jumping on the head. Uh, if I'd gotten a UT on the other, on the black captain guy, I wouldn't have been able to get that uh that extra ut i would have ran out of time so any wasted movement is uh is actually going to hurt you for if you're going for a full-blown karma run which this is not you know I'm, I'm happy with settling for et's and some ut's versus going all out and uh i think that's kind of just the whole theme of this this whole run you know it's not a full-blown karma run it's Get it to where you don't lose your mind, <laughs> but also get some points to where you know yeah. for sure you're going to, um, you know, get the end of chapter Master Ninja ranking because yeah. that is the goal. There's a very, very wide margin between just having fun with making the time limits and losing your mind. So you've got a lot of uh, wiggle room there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think right here I just uh, drop a smoke bomb. You could also you know, shoot with arrows if you wanted to. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, maybe start out that way, but it's, you know, in some of the other difficulties, it's, uh, the time limit's a little bit shorter and tougher to make, especially in Ninja Gaiden Black. But Sigma, because you have a theme challenge here that they don't account for in terms of chapter time and chapter kills, you could actually, uh, you know, spend a little bit more time going to save yeah. or, you know, going through your menu items, uh, you know, a little bit more uh, than normal, perhaps. So That's one really cool thing I like about the uh, on-the-fly item menu is that you never have, that you can see how many items you have. You can always, you can, oh, apart from talismans, I guess, but you can, like, flick through that and see what you've got. It's a nice little bonus. Yeah, and the great thing, again, without, because if you don't have to worry about the essence bonus, uh, you can stock up on supplies if you feel like you need to, mm -hmm. because you're going to be since you're going to be uting a lot to make the time limit. You're going to be getting the essence. Now, I yeah, think, you, uh, you're not going to you're not going to worry for essence in uh, in these runs at all, really. Now I think uh, I think I kind of messed this up. Uh, yeah, you know that's that's one of those things where you don't really realize that you're going to land on their head whenever you're jumping and it really messes you up. Why does it do that like it does with the X plus AA? Is it just because you just happen to be that close and that move is always automatic to land on their head like that? No, you do, have to, you, you, you do have to press it a second time. So if, you're, if, you, if you like don't take your finger off the uh, button immediately 
and then you kind of let up and like hit it again, you can actually like press it again and it'll register as another hit. So uh, much like with um, this is something that um, I, w I wanted to mention actually, but we got onto another topic at the start of the video when you did that on landing forward Y. Um, when you're not doing a combo or you don't want to be doing any, like you don't want the game to actually be picking up any hits, always press the block button because the block. If you press the block button, that essentially cuts off the game reading your inputs for combos. So if you do something like if you're doing, say, if you're doing forward Y into on landing forward Y, do forward Y while you're in the air, press block, and then that tells the game, look, don't like I don't want to do anything now because if you do it if you do that and you don't let go of block uh, if you don't press block sorry and then you try forward Y again in the air you'll get the helm splitter whereas if you're holding block in the air and you press Y nothing will happen and then you can do your on landing forward Y at the very end and it's the same thing with your jump like if you jump and then keep your button like on A or X but you don't hold block and then you kind of press it again even when it's held down like it'll register another input and then you'll get like a wind run when you don't when you might not want one and it can mess up your on landing time now, I like uh, hitting those boxes because I kept running into them. I got a very generous hitbox right there. Yeah, the ET hitbox is enormous. Yeah. So, I, I, I kind of got a little fortunate because that guy could have spawned over there by the crank. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it's something that was actually a pretty tough time limit to, to make. Yeah, I think though, um, I can't help. I, I I don't I don't wear these anymore. I've got like a Karma Run monocle now. I don't wear full glasses oh. anymore. Um, <laughs> but with Sigma, uh, you probably could have got two UTs at the end there because in Sigma, when you UT a guy in Sigma, you can still launch them after the final hit. So you could have UT'd that last guy and destroyed the barrel, and then when that guy flew in the window, he would have come towards you. So you could have like the final hit could have hit him and killed him, and then you could have launched him again and UT'd his body. With, with the time someone else can try that obviously because exactly because <laughs> you know? that's what <laughs> yeah. well it just goes to show the difference and also wait until the timer comes up before you fully kill him you can also yeah. get a look at me trying to get out of the bow there uh, <laughs> block an x can, I, I keep like just for anyone wondering like block an x or block an a like will get you out of the bow aim like the absolute fastest way in sigma boy the master I, collection sorry <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah, that's true. That's a good yeah. point. Because in Sigma, we have the, the decent bow controls. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, man, geez. But what he was talking about leads back to the part that makes you go crazy. You know, mm -hmm. we're not a... We don't yeah. want to do that. But that's what it takes if you really want to get the high scores. Yeah. Now, and then get, and getting the kind of the eye for that is pretty... It takes a while, you know. Um, looking at the time that's left on that clock, I think, oh, okay, you might be able to get a forward Y like UT there and... You know, you, you have to do. Uh, you have to. You have to really know your timing and your animation times to, to get that stuff down. Um, but it, well, it's, great, it's part of it, you know. Well, you know, here I probably could have gone a little bit. Uh, you want to? Here I am again. <laughs> that would have been bad if I jumped off. Oh I man, that, yeah. left that over there. I would have left that uh, that on as well. But <laughs> but you want to whenever you kill those guys in the, in the crank room fight, you don't want to make sure you don't want to destroy all the the barrels. Yeah, that's Man, true. jump through the window, you know, and, and that because you want to use that because you don't need the barrels to, to kill the guys. But again, it gives you your points. It gives you your essence that we need to get the master ninja ranking. Now, I will mm -hmm. say, as I've kind of, you know, practiced through, you don't want to go up too far here either. Because no, you of, don't, uh, no. they spawn very it, quickly. Yeah. Yeah, I think I did that one time. Oh, also, uh, Somebody had asked on GameFAQs, they were talking about how the karma works uh, in terms of the overall for the achievement. You can get two UTs out of there. I think you show how to do that yeah, on, you can get on two, one of yeah. your runs. Yeah, it's funny. XY actually killed him there. <laughs> well, I'm like, a badass. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, you have to just do forward Y there. So, again, don't kill the two guys that are running up before the timer starts because yeah i forgot you can actually charge that barrel was giving you dirty looks man i saw yeah. that too yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't worry i saw that and i just did it to get the essence i really didn't need to do that but yeah uh you can just hold the uh you can just hold it and charge the et and break the barrel and you won't take any damage Mm -hmm. And I think, oh, there's me. I'm still used to playing my Borderlands game. And to go into the menu like this, it's the back button instead of the start. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, I still, you'll see me doing that, that, that quite a bit. I played Borderlands for a long time. 
Did I go in here to get this? Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, there's yeah. more items in here. Uh, yeah. Before we got off on that tank, you were see, saying oh, something see, there about... Oh, see, there we go. Look what <laughs> I did. Jumping sorry, bombs, yeah. <laughs> um, you were saying something about the karma system from Game Packs? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, somebody said, you know, the 50 million points, is that in, like, uh, a cumulative total for the game? Or is it something you have to do all in one shot? And it's... Uh, you could reset each fight or just the first fight in the game just kill those two ninjas over and over again uh quit out and start it back up and you would get to your 50 million points on one fight i mean that would take you a long time but uh right that, that, that was a weird trophy because when i got the master collection um i got that trophy um I, I i had completed normal and i got it about halfway through my hard run that trophy unlocked so yeah um, there's no way you'll get 50 million um, from from a normal and half a hard karma, like even a karma <laughs> run, you wouldn't even get half that probably uh, from one of those difficulties. I think um, I was at about 27 million like when I got that trophy, because I even made like a little note of that. So um, yeah, like I don't know, that's a weird trophy. It seemed, I mean, it's good that it's, I, I guess it's good that it's glitched that way and not the other way. <laughs> like if you have to yeah. get like you know a billion to get it onto unlock, that'd be annoying. Um, but yeah, it's weird, Matt, because um, I feel like in the Vita, that trophy's actually pretty, you know, uh, pretty accurate, because uh, when I played this on the Vita, because again, this is the Master Collection is, I mean, it's it, the easiest way to think about it is PS3 Sigma, but it's got the Vita extras on it, because obviously it looks better than the Vita version. Um, but uh, yeah, that, uh, that 50 million trophy on the Vita seemed to unlock kind of as it should have, like I think I got that like towards the end of my very hard run. On, on the Vita playthrough, and that's, you know, three playthroughs at, like, roughly 18 or so million each. You know, you're looking at right. ab about, you know, 50 million overall. Um, but, I mean, you could, I mean there's, you could get that from mission mode, like, just by itself, you know, if you did all the missions. Yeah, that was something I was kind of disappointed, because this fight right here, uh, and that's what kind of leads into it, what you want to do, like, I can, you can ET the first guy, and then you can control them in a sense by not these two corners, but the back two corners. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully they can come in and see, again, I think uh, I probably should have killed the guy. I'm, I'm gonna get shot out of my UT whenever the three guys come in. But anyway, you can, you want to individually kill each of the first uh, 20 guys, if you can with UTs. Yeah. And then once 21 comes out, then three enemies will come out. Mm -hmm. And then I think what a good, see, uh, what you want to do is you want to kill two. That way you don't have to waste any extra time like I'm doing right there. And then that way you can chain the S. It's kind of like what I did there. Now this guy's going to come and then kill him. And then as he's dying, another guy should come kill him. And then, you know, kind of keep that chain going like that. I think it would be really hard to get 50 UTs here. But I think you can get, uh, like, maybe 40 or something? Or I think, uh, looking at this, it's funny, I didn't think of this, because there is a normal Karma run on uh, my channel, not a full-blown one, but I think I get I think I think get over 40 here, but I'm just noticing it now that like I'm you know watching it again. Um, they seem to stick to a same window pattern, so if you were going for 50, you'd need, if you had 15 smoke bombs, you could kill the first 19, well, the first 20, but you'd, be at, you'd have 19 UTs. And then kill yeah, the next and one. ET. Yeah, and one ET. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah. 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 Don't go for the ET. You could do that. And then I, what I would do is I'd alternate corners into smoke bomb forward Y. And then as long as you go to the corner where the guy isn't spawning, you could probably get like single UTs up to 40. And then you'd be at 39 UTs with 20 kills left. And then 10 UTs at two apiece is 49 UTs. So you don't need to like smoke bomb charge the very last guy. And, and there's your 50. So probably yeah. possible actually <laughs> yeah. very easy to do <laughs> we're looking forward to somebody yeah. doing the video i mean i just get yeah like i just gave people the strategy there you go you're all welcome now you yeah. now <laughs> someone else can do, go and do it <laughs> but this is also in this game right here this isn't oh i should have scooped him up right there i think is what i should have done it kind of caught me off guard you see how the camera kind of yeah turned with the guy shooting the rocket and that kind of messed me up a little bit but this encounter is not uh accounted for in the chapter time for the kills no which is a real shame yeah and i think i messed this up right here yeah i'm, I'm trying to look for both guys i don't want to kill him x y alan and see i just totally i just totally panic 
See, oh, I just that was close, though. <laughs> well, I dogged yeah. it. I, I dogged it. I had a... Uh... The idea was sound. You know, the, yeah. the, the theory there was sound. And now, this last part, I was being uh, overly cautious here. Mm -hmm. But, you know, again, I, I didn't want to put a ton of time in this. I know it could be way better. But again, like I said, this, this is not accounted for. I don't know how they overlooked that. Yeah, it is. It is a shame because um, it's. Uh, I mean, I think it's a real. I mean, this. It's funny. It's. It's cool that this is in the game, but I do feel like this challenge is kind of what breaks essence so much in Sigma because like this challenge gives you so much money like so early on in the game that I think you know once you get to chapter four you can just upgrade everything. You know, you don't even need to think about. Oh, do I have the money for this? Of course, I have the money because you know I did that fiend challenge in chapter three. And also, you can. Uh buy a ton of info if you want to yeah you know if you're exactly. if you're if, if you're worried about that now not having the lunar for the first three chapters is, is a little bit you know getting used to especially on this uh i think it's what four steps down maybe maybe uh, five five yeah five four reach. is ideal um but it depends like that guy there was actually he kind of did you a favor by coming a bit forward because usually you want to be four steps down um, but you can be you can be five and still hit them with the dragon sword. The lunar you can be a bit further, but again it depends on where they actually spawn. I think uh, also whenever you flip up top there, make sure you're kind of holding blocks so you don't absorb the essence and yep. then do an on landing. And see again, I think I could uh, smoke bomb and charge, but I'm not. Again, this is not going the crazy method. You definitely have the time. Yeah, that time is kind of insane. Yeah, and I think I kind of dog it here at the end too. I don't, I don't single them out, but I'm not worried about it. I, I mean, to be honest with you, I can't stand it. But like, like right here, I think you know, I kill him. But with both of them standing there, and he kind of runs into it. Yeah. So see, I know I can't. Charm. Maybe I could have dropped the um, smoke bomb and, and rolled back. What you could have but, done there, um, uh, we've talked about this before, but commandos, uh, if you wind run them in open space, meaning that when you jump off their head, you don't hit a wall or you're not obstructed by an invisible wall, uh, you have enough time to just wind run on landing charge into an ET or UT. So, like, you could have just jumped on his head, landed behind him, and charged, and you would have got, like, you would have had time for a UT there. Yeah, I think, uh, well, with me and cleaning, clinging to walls and all that stuff. Now, I, I do want to talk about this dynamo fight. I do have the, the what is it, the Tiger's Claw, Dragon Fane, or what is it? Dragon's Claw, Tiger's Fang, I yeah. think, all the way around, yeah. <laughs> so this strategy right here works, but see, now I'm a little confused. It was like, okay, wait, do I drop a smoke bomb there? Did I put my Nympho in? Uh, that's the reason I got hit, but I could have easily, I don't want to say easily, but I could have done it without getting hurt. Do you have all of the song uh, there? Did you buy that? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. I'm pretty sure I did. And uh, again, like I said, you look, the, the time limit's 12 minutes and 59 seconds, the kills are 45. Obviously, that's not true uh, if you're gonna do the Fiend Challenge. Now, I did think that, you know, hey, maybe if you ET your way through the, the Fiend Challenge and still can somehow make the time limit or the chapter time limit would it be worth it but i just don't think it would be i think going ut's the whole way would uh because that'd still be a tough ch time limit to make it 13 minutes yeah it would i mean you only lost what was that about 70 odd k from from the time limit whereas you think 40 ut's alone is 200k Plus, yeah. you know, you've got the 70, and you finish it with quite a bit of time left, too. So you've got, you know, the base 70 plus the kill bonus plus the time bonus. I don't, plus, I don't plus think, combo uh, points, you know, people sleep on combo points. <laughs> they, yeah, they, yeah. They, they, they do mount up. The uh, Berserker Challenge in this game can attest to that. <laughs> well, you can, like I said, you can ET. If you're ET in your way through, first of all, uh, you're not getting hardly any, you know, combo points does unless it connects twice, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the Berserkers are kind of the exception to that rule, really. Right, um, right. But, yeah, it's, it's funny because the Berserker challenge is kind of the... Combo points are never really that big of a consideration on a Karma run, but um, because of the way Berserkers function, you know, in Sigma compared to Black, it's actually way better. To, even, if they di even if they didn't, like, portal you off screen, you would actually get more points in that challenge for using the Lunar because, like, the time limit is just so unbelievably long. Yeah, yeah, that's... uh. So here, if people want to practice, you know, focusing on maybe trying to get more UTs, I think uh, 
even if for some reason you you miss some of the the time limits or maybe didn't get the uh, some of the UTs that you wanted to and some of the fights or something like that because of the fiend challenge you would always and completing that I'm, I'm pretty sure you would always get master ninja even if you had zero time left yeah. in the the chapter just the time limit um yeah the the, the, the i mean I, I can only do it comparing to a, a run i'm doing right now on normal um which is uh in ninja guide which is in ninja guide in black not sigma um but the in general the the point requirements for master ninja just seem pretty low to be honest like compared to what is actually possible compared to what yeah. you need to get like it, it, there's a pretty big gap between the two I think I saw somebody's video who got under 300,000 and got the Master Ninja ranking. And I was thinking, well, man, in black, it seemed like it was had to be over 400,000. So, like you said, it could be way lower. And if somebody wants to figure those out. But there's just so many variables involved in that that at the end of the day, it's like if you want to go for the Master Ninja ranking, you know, make the time limits, do some UTs, make the end of chapter bonus, make the end of... The kill bonus or the you know the time chapter bonus and the kills mm -hmm. and it shows right there that hey i missed the i missed the chapter time but uh, i still got the the master ninja ranking on that but i've yeah. i've had when i've kind of played around in some of the chapters i think whenever i did my chapter four video that's coming up i went over because uh, I, I kind of run through each chapter since, first of all, it's not unlocked yet. So I, I want to be able to skip the, the cutscenes. But it's been so long since I played Sigma, I need to get used to the, the fights again and things like that. So whenever I played my chapter four uh, to unlock it, I, you know, looked at a lot of different routes. I, you know, went and got the Life of the Thousand Gods um, <clears> throat> saved at some different points and things like that and i went over by two or three minutes and because i'd killed a lot with uts and everything i still got the master ninja ranking even though i only got a forty thousand end of chapter score for my time limit so i know yeah. that i let the cat out of the bag because that's coming up next but at least we won't have to explain it in that so hopefully people will understand that but anything left in here i mean i really think upgrading the the drag what is it again dragon's Dual claw swords. tiger's fine I just call them the, yeah, I think everyone just calls them the dual swords. Yeah, yeah. okay, dual swords, uh, that's up to level two. Yeah, I they mean, have uh, Rotate Y at level one, though, which I, you know, they, they probably shouldn't have, but, <laughs> you know, they, they you know, they, uh, that's, that's on Team Ninja, not us, so. Yeah, well, we'll take advantage of that, and, yeah. you know, their ET, that, e, their ET is really strong. Yeah, uh, it is, yeah. You know, so, I might use that some more later on in the run, uh, again, I'm just kind of, you know getting my bearings again on, on doing this but i think that's it you know smoke bombs take advantage uh advantage of those fire wheels on mariah gives you extra points i mean that's just free hit points especially for how long the fire wheels go in this version of sigma yeah i mean they Man. are like fire wheels are drastically buffed in this version you know take advantage of all of that stuff and uh I think that's it. If y'all have any questions or comments, please let us know. And y'all take care, and we'll see you in the next chapter. Thank you, everybody.